別物ってわけか。What's going on, guys? It's your host, Spartanic Arts DxD, back with another high school DxD slash Naruto video. And today, boys, we got part two of What If Naruto Was in High School DxD. So, this does take me a little bit to make, so please subscribe and just like the video. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so getting back into it, right, uh, Naruto just clapped the Shadow Riser, and the rating game has now ended, and at this point, everybody's like, what just happened? You know, everyone's super surprised, everyone's having, like, these weird reactions, because they don't know how the rating game ended, because none, not one of them actually destroyed Riser, and Rias is like, I don't understand what just happened, who just took out Riser? So then everybody gets teleported back to the school meeting room. My, of course, including Riser and Naruto. And this is where the dialogue with Sir Sex uh, slash Lucifer comes in. I'm going to call him Lucifer. But just so you know, I am talking about the Devil King or Rhea's brother, Sir Zex. Now, this is where the dialogue starts happening. So Lucifer says, we have to have a meeting concerning this nice young gentleman right here. And Naruto says, oh, oh, me? What the actual shit is going on? And Riser says, you're lucky I don't crush you where you stand, you low-class peasant. And Naruto says, shut up before I stick my foot in your face and kick you across the planet like I did last time. Lucifer says, it's not the time for this, Riser. Rias, brother, explain who is this person and why is he here? Issei says, who is this guy? He looks pretty strong, obviously, in his head. Drake says, this is the guy who I was talking about. Issei goes, hmm... Akano thinking in her own head, saying, wow, this guy eliminated me in one blow. Interesting. So Kiba is thinking inside of his head, I can feel the immense power from this guy. Azia says inside her head as well, what an interesting fellow. Issei says, so Drake, this guy doesn't look scary. What's exactly wrong here? Drake says, Issei, you should know by now not to underestimate people by their looks. And Issei says, oh, okay, that's true, Drake. And then Lucifer says, so who exactly are you? Because you don't seem like you're from this world. And Riser says, I don't care who you are. He ruined my wedding. And he starts charging at Naruto, about to punch him. So he punches Naruto and then poof, substitution jutsu. And Riser goes, what the? And Naruto looks back in the same from across the room and says, try to hurt me again and see what happens. Everyone is extremely surprised of what just happened because obviously nobody's seen a shadow clone jutsu before. So Naruto says, anyway, my name is Naruto Uzumaki and I was in a war and somehow I ended up here in this dimension from fighting some weird beast or some weird character that can flip dimensions. And Lucifer goes, interesting. And Lucifer also says, we definitely can tell you're from another word world after that clone you produced and Konoko says a different world Pfft, whatever I don't care Lucifer says either way you don't seem like our enemy am I correct Naruto Naruto says yeah I'm not your enemy at this point I just want to go back to my world and find it that's all I want to do and then Rias finally steps up and says Naruto you're welcome to stay with us if you want for the time being and Naruto says oh really oh thank you so much that would be amazing Lucifer claps and says, Well, that's great to hear. Riss, I will leave Naruto in your hands for now. Now, I best get going. I have a meeting to get to. So, excuse me, Naruto. We'll talk later. And Riss says, Alrighty, everybody. Everybody, let's get walking back to the base. And as they're walking, Issei asks Naruto a question. Issei says, My partner tells me that you also have something inside you. And Naruto says, Your partner? Issei says, well, he's my sacred gear, but I consider him a friend. Basically, he's a dragon. Naruto says, oh, that's that's weird. My friend is Kuruma. They call him the Demon Fox, or a, a.k.a. the Ninetales, but he's pretty nice in reality. Kuruma says to Drake, so who are you? And Drake says, I'm a dragon. What about you? And Kuruma says, I'm a huge fox with nine tails, pretty much. <laughs> and Drake says, Sucks that we're stuck inside these people's bodies, huh? And Kuruma says, Naruto has kind of began to grow on me over the years. And Drake says, same as well as Issei, except for the fact that he's kind of a flaming pervert. 
<laughs> and Issei says in his head, Drake, are you talking to the fox? And Drake says, yeah. And, he, and then Akana says, so Naruto, how old are you? And Naruto says, I'm 17 right now, I think. And she goes, what? What do you mean you think? And then, and then boom, multiple lightning spears from the sky come all the way down and start crashing at multiple angles. And Akino immediately recognizes his attack. Lightning spears? Oh no, that must be a fallen angel. And then Akino says, oh no, is that who I think it is? Rhea says, it's a fallen angel. Naruto says in his head, what the shit is a fallen angel? Konako says, everybody get ready. Then Drake proceeds to say to Issei, that is a fallen angel commander, Issei. Watch your step. Issei says, understood, Drake. So Kokovil flies down from the sky and says, Oh, how nice to see you again, Rias Grimmery. And Rhea says, And how unpleasant to meet you, Kokovil. And Kokovil says, Oh, is that the daughter of Barkyol? Akino says, Shut it, scumbag. Don't talk about my father that way. And Rhea says, What are you doing, Kokovil? The devil's fallen angels and angels are under a true alliance. Kokovil says, I could care less about that shitty alliance. I just want to fight. Rhea says, you realize you're causing a war, right? And Kokovil says, I know. It's amazing. I can't wait to kill all of you. And Naruto says, this guy's kind of pissing me off. I might as well just punch him. And Issei says, agreed. Boost. And that came from Drake. Issei immediately says, Rhea, listen, let me grab your boobs just one time, please. Rhea says, Jesus, Issei, fine, do whatever it takes. And Issei immediately says, after he grabs the tit, of course, and he says, boost, boost, boost. And then Drake finally says, all right, Issei, we're all charged up. Kokobil says, oh, and what are you going to do, peasant boy? And Issei says, dragon shock. And it immediately flies up at Kokobil. And Kokobil goes, holy shit. And then he barely dodges Issei's attack. And Kokovil says, if that hit me, that could have done some serious damage, Red Dragon Emperor. Unfortunately for you, it missed. And he immediately charges up a huge lightning spear and sends it directly at Issei. And then Kiba blocks it and jumps in the way and blocks it with his holy devil sword. And Issei th says, thanks, Kiba. I really appreciate you. I could have died right there. Naruto finally steps up from behind everybody and says, listen, everybody. Let me handle this guy. Trust me, I'll be able to defeat him. That's when Kokovil says, You can't do anything, boy. You're just a stupid little pawn for Marius Gremory. Naruto looks up at Kokovil says, and then Kuruma says, I'm ready, Naruto. And Naruto goes into KCM mode. And then he immediately says, Multi Shadow Clone Jutsu. So, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to end it off right there. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video. I'm, oh god, this took me at least three hours to write the second half of the story, and it's going to take me another three hours to write part three. So, thank you guys so much for all your support, and shout out to Trosfees for becoming a channel member on the channel. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you and everybody who's been supporting me these videos take forever again please like and comment and subscribe for more without further ado pup 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 peace